Professor Norman Fenton. And Professor Norman Fenton has been on this since the get go, speaking out loud, putting his head above the parapet. You're a professor of risk information management at Queen Mary University in London. And you have, as I say, you've been putting your head above the parapet since the beginning, saying, hold on a second. These, this is the modeling we're basing all this on. So you had quite con serious concerns with the sort of fundamental problems right at the beginning with the whole data collection that was shaping the narrative, didn't you, Norman? Yeah, because that's what we do. We look at uh, data. We look for sort of causal explanations, biases, uncertainty. So we go beyond the sort of standard number crunching that the typical statisticians do. And we saw very early on that there were problems with the the data that was being presented by governments all around the world and the narrative that was being created. So actually very early on, we were one of the first to publish a peer-reviewed paper showing that, that while the number of cases of COVID worldwide were more than were being reported at that time, the infection fatality rate, i.e. the probability of dying if you had it, was far, was far less as being reported. So basically COVID was nothing like as deadly and as dangerous as was being portrayed. So we we caught onto that right from the very beginning. And then we exposed the problems with the whole sort of PCR testing. You know, the more you test, the more cases you find. And then the whole way that the, the definitions of the whole way that COVID hospitalizations and deaths were defined. You know, you, anybody, you know, is PCR positive within two weeks of entering hospital or after being in hospital, you know, while they're in hospital is classified as a as, as a COVID hospitalization, irrespective of what they were hospitalized for. And the same right. with death reporting. Yeah, all, all of that. We exposed all of that. And of course, um, you know, I, I, I've, you know, got a lot of flack for it because I'm one of very oh, few. A lot. Yeah, one of very few um, people, you know, academics with the relevant expertise in, in sort of the mass and statistics of it to speak up. I mean, plenty of people, quite eminent statisticians, you know, have quietly, you know, discreetly told me that they, that they support me, but they just can't speak out. So their oh, careers, their careers it's so fair. frustrating. It's I'm terrible. so yeah. I'm so grateful for people like you. So you